Hello and welcome to the Mini Army Show and today we're doing something a bit different as you can tell from reading the title of the video we're doing the our Mini Army game. the Mini Army game we're do, we're going to talk about game. we're going to talk about our game. simple super simple game war game for 100 and 172 One. figure 122 scale figures <laughs> Yes. There you go. So we're gonna talk about we. This is a, this is a, like here's a funny thing, buddy. Right? We get when we do the little figures, right? When we do the little characters, right? We get a good few views yes. on uh, the YouTube channel, right? But when we do games, right? When we do games, no views. No one's interested. Look, but the, let, um, let me do something like ninety-five. Yeah, and that's a brilliant game. Uh, so people don't know what they're missing. So here's the thing about this video. If uh, I don't know if anyone's going to view it because we get we get views on this, but we don't get views on that. But this is a game, and a, it's a game, and there are minis. Yeah. So how's it going to work? This is a, this is a, a a little experiment, isn't it? So, but anyway, what it is is the if we had a mission statement, if we had a thing that we wanted to do with the mini army game. Yeah. It's it's encouraging people to build phys build physical things. Daddy, that's mine, and we didn't build it. We bought it. Yes, oh, well, this example is yeah, but generally building models. Okay. Well, what it is is an it's an example of a physical thing, isn't it? Yeah. So there. A physical, right. This is a physical. That's a physical thing. thing as well. We didn't build this, but we painted it up and uh, changed it a bit, but. What we want to do it, on the mini army show is we're trying to encourage daddies or parents to play with their kids and build physical things, right? That's the whole... Or buy them. Right, or buy them, right? But playing together, parents playing with their children has been proved to be very beneficial for children's Wait, development. What? Wait, what? Um. Chil parents playing with their children has been proven in research to be very beneficial for for, for children. Well, what does beneficial mean? Uh, oh, good. Beneficial uh, means good. There's a benefit okay. from it, right? So that is the whole. That is kind of the whole point in the mini army show. Like we're, we're sharing our hobby and sharing our love of playing with things, right? And uh, the thing about it is, a hell of a lot of people collect these little miniature characters. These, and uh, stick them on the shelves. I don't know what they do with them. I don't know if probably people, I don't stick know them if, on the shelves. It's not focusing, but I don't know if people paint them or whatever. But there's a there's a lot of interest in these, but there's no interest in the games, right? So we're trying to change that because we've got a game here, and we've been we've gone through the rules a lot, and we've tried to make it as simple to learn as possible. As possible. Uh, the, all the all the movements and measurements in this game are done with. Uh, to the thing with yeah, so top one move is one, is one of these 15 I centimeters two or moves six for a guy. Yeah, are two of these. Same with everything, everything is two of these. If it's gonna move and move, yeah. So, what we'll do is we'll swap the camera around and we'll look at our game setup and see what we've got so far. Right, so here is a typical game setup that we have. Uh, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little. Uh, turn in the road and in this position we have three Sherman tanks coming up the road we and have a unit not doing anything we have a unit of British infantry right and an ambush is waiting for them here because there is a king tiger sitting watching the junction he's also backed up by a squad of German infantry He's backed up by a light tank, right, as a backup, and an anti-tank team. And the reason why we do, the, re the reason why it's fun to play war games like this, as I angle the camera, you actually get down in position of the tank. It should be like that. Why did you just move that? Because that is better because... Leave, 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 stop, stop. You can't go moving it halfway through a game. Anyway. And halfway, right. So stand back a bit there, buddy. 
So anyway, the reason why it's fun to play with the physical models is because you can actually get down to the, the, the eye point of view of the, of the tank. So you can see here that the tank can't see those Shermans yet. They're going to come up the road here. Over here, we're still waiting and in the ambush here. We've got the small light tank and his view is a bit obstructed by these trees back here. Right? So this is the fun thing about getting down and seeing can these units see each other and uh, what cover these units have. Here's how a typical here's how a typical round plays in this game. Now remember we're trying to get this game as super simple. You can learn it. We you, eventually when this video comes out, we'll have the link to the rules on our on our on our YouTube channel, and you'll be able to download it. And it should be maybe two pages is all it is to learn. But there's often loads of books to uh, to read through, but in this we're trying to keep it as simple as possible. This is for people who don't generally play games. Now what we have is we have a little marker for each unit, and when they go, we're going to remove those. So we roll for initiative first, right? Combat so dice. I'm yeah. This is what we call combat dice. I, I, here's a typical go. So I'm I'm blue. I'm green. And he's green. He's the allies. I'm playing the Germans, right? So we're going to roll together. And I have won the initiative in that round, right? So I get to move first. And a simple move would be we measure all the moves with these sticks. And as, as you can see, it's 15 millimeters or 6 inches if you're working in Imperial. And we just work it that you uh, a unit... A, a squad in reality, right? What was one fire team, two fire team, a commander, and a and a machine gun team. So, in this game, an infantry squad is made up of these three uh, or these four different units, right? Two rifle fire teams, a machine gun team, and a commander. They move as one unit, so they can they activate as one unit, but they can move wherever they like, they can move separately, right? So way, the way we measure uh, a movement is these would typically go there and another move is over, the, over this, um, over this he hedge row that they're gonna go. So we move the units over. Right, so that's, that's their move. We take we take their marker and we put it we put we put it over here. Right? Then it's my turn. Now, this uh, for this round the round is when all their markers are taken and collected. That's a round a round done, and then we roll for initiative to see who gets the initiative on the next round. Now Patrick, it's now Patrick's go, and he's going to move his unit. And he's choosing to move his Shermans up the road. Right, so he gets two sticks amounts of distance. Right, Patrick's gonna take a shot with his Sherman at the, at the King Tiger sitting in the ditch there. Right? So for Patrick to, sh to hit him, right, one is always a miss, two, two is, is if it's point blank, is if it's in point blank, and we class point, being in point blank as being one stick, one stick away. Within if you're within that, you're, you're in point blank range, so you can hit on a two. There is no cover on that the tiger tank, right? He's sitting out in the open, right? So he, he the, the Sherman tank has a bit of cover from the wall, but he has no cover looking back. Be one other thing, because Patrick moved, he gets one more penalty. So his hit is on a th four, five, or six, right? So roll the dice and see what you get. And you've, got, you've got a four, which is a hit. Which it is a so it's a hit. So let's see what that does to the tank. Now, unfortunately for Patrick, he's going up against a super heavy tank, and he has a medium tank. Right. So in the in the mini army rules, there's light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks, and super heavy tanks. And he, yeah, but he's going up against a super heavy tank, a a king tiger. We're just doing this for him. An example to show this is a, he's in a, in, in a bad way here, right? So the medium tank, his gun has it's the power five. has the power of five. That's yes. That's sort of like his attack. 
And his armor, Patrick, is is, is a power of eleven. And so defense. to hit that and de uh, but what we do in the mini army game is his front armor is eleven, his side armor is ten, and his rear armor would be nine. The right? same so, as so if you if you attack. sorry. I said the same as a medium tank. Yes. So if you can get behind him, you can get a shot. It's, it's uh, you have more chance of taking them out from behind, right? Well, penetrating. Yes. So we're going to roll a dice here and see if he can penetrate so the armor on this tank. So Patrick has to get a six. And he gets a six. First go. Oh my goodness. What a brilliant roll. So now this is great because we can show what happens when the armor is penetrated, what happens inside the tank. When a tank is attacking another tank, it, it, you roll to see if you hit it, then you roll to see if, if you, you penetrate, penetrate the armor, armor, and then you roll to see what happens inside the tank. So Patrick, roll and we'll, see, we'll what see what happens. So you've got a five, which, which is... The crew killed. So Patrick got an unbelievably lucky shot, shot there, right? He got through the armor and the crew was all killed. Now the tank's not destroyed, so we can just put a little marker on it. Uh, and, a side. Right, we and, we t and we take its, its uh, marker away. Now you can okay. use anything for these. You can use pennies or pebbles or anything you like. Um, so that's, pa that's Patrick's first trophy. So he's killed He's killed the tank and destroyed it. Now, oh if, yeah, and this goes now. Now, if the ta if he'd got a six, if he if he had got a six, the tank would be destroyed. And we made these little markers. And if the tank had been destroyed, we'd put that little marker on to show the tank was burning and destroyed. Right? But he got a six, so the tank is now sitting there with all the crew killed. And if he gets if he gets uh, three men to the tank, if he gets three of his men to the tank like that. He can take, he can occupy that oh tank God, and drive it around. There. We put the stick out here. He can move the distance of that stick and then move that stick again. So what he can do is he can move out there, fire, and then reverse back into cover here. Right. So he can, he, what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to move out, fire down the road at this Sherman. If there was troops here, he could also shoot his machine gun at them. And then he can reverse back in here into cover. Right, and that's what he's going to do. So I'm going to roll to see if he hits this Sherman. Now the thing about this is there is a wall between. There's a wall there between the sh the Sherman and the little the light. The little, half covered. the little yes. So the little light tank. And then the light so, tank moved. Yes. So then it would be like five six. Yes. So we're going to class that tank as having light cover, right? And we'll explain. Or half cover. Yeah, half cover, and we'll explain what that means just now. We always keep these dice on hand. Uh, it just makes it easier to visualize what we're dealing with here. So, as, as I say, one is always a miss. He's not in point blank, so two is a miss. And we're given that tank... Uh, oh, that tank moved as well. The little tank moved. So, so that's... not three. That's another penalty. And um, we're given half cover for, for the Sherman oh, tank. Half cover. Is if you see 50% or more of the tank, if it's 50% or less, it has full cover. Yes. And let's take away two dots. Yeah, so full cover would be this, and he and I'd have to roll a six to try and hit it, but, but he's, we're giving him half cover, which I have oh. to roll a five or six to hit him. A lot of people have just these the, uh, simple setup of little toys like this, and you can play the mini army game by just placing streets. Like using them as buildings. Yes. You don't even need any dice. No, no not really. But no, you need, no, you need dice. But, I but dice are super cheap to come by. I right? didn't use dice when I was doing that. Yeah, well that's just, that's not really wargaming as such. That's just playing with toys, right? But uh, men, when they're occupying houses, get a bonus to their, their shooting abilities. So, and their armor. So putting them in that, like putting them on a on a on a book like that could signify that they're in a house. Right? And this could signify this is going to fall off the house. Yeah. Well. Right. So you can start wargaming with 
simple little pieces like this, little uh, little plastic pieces like this, and simple little toys like this, and it works in the exact same fashion. You just think it again. So it would work in the exact same way. You could use the tanks. You could stack up a few houses as as cover, and use just basic basic ta uh, tanks like this. That moves down there. You can turn and fire. Okay, so that's basically a look at our simple rules for the mini army game, as we call it. Um, they're super simple and they're designed for, to keep the game playing fast and be easy to play. And as we said, you don't have to have all the scenery and all the, all the scale models or anything like that. You could play with Lego characters, you could play with like little tanks, just using books as terrain. Uh, one good thing to buy is, see these mats, these battle mats. You can get these with actually layouts on them, like with roads. So you can buy a battle mat and you can have a whole road system but and these... they have places for houses and hedges and stuff like that. I, I chose just to get a plain one because I already have a bit of terrain to stick on it. But you can get a battle it mat. It was also for Edith, so you could use it for Edith's ponies. Yes, so we also use this when Edith is using her ponies. Not anymore, ponies. No. We haven't done that in a while, but it still can. We can put out her jumps and she can use it with her ponies as well, right? But you can buy battle mats that just have the graphics on it and uh, you're, you're ready to go. Out. These little trees here, uh, these were uh, super simple. These came in a pack of 10 and I, I weighted them down with a big washer and just put a bit of plaster on the on the on them as well just to, and I, i'm gonna eventually put a bit of flock on them to make it look more um, uh, grass effects actually, so that so that's basically the overview of our game rules and if you want to try it out the game rules are going to be downloadable from the link below and hopefully you'll be able to print them Oh yeah, you down when you download it. <laughs> Thanks, Google. So the game rules will be downloadable, and you just print them out, and then you can use them. And as I say, the, we're going to keep it to about two pages at most, so it should be easy to learn and play. So a big thank you to all our subscribers and anyone who we've got some very nice comments lately yeah. as well. There's lots of uh, nice people doing nice comments in the. Uh, in the comment section youtube you always hear youtube being a, a cesspit of bad comments but we, we've never got one so far we have got one <laughs> yeah i think we got one what uh, did someone say i hate you guys or something like that yeah yeah i think yeah so yeah, but we don't really care yeah out of we've 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 had a good few thousand we've had a, a, a good few thousand views and only one one knobhead <laughs> that's that, that commented uh that's all from the mini army game for this episode if you like it tell a friend if you don't tell an enemy bye, bye. <laughs> why why are you going that way He's just climbing over me. Bye! <laughs> Patrick. Say Patrick. Debbie. Say it again. Debbie. Good boy. Say funny chap, Patrick. Funny Debbie.